So welcome everybody. Welcome to a new human experience podcast. Today is Earth Day, April the 22nd, 2021. The topic for this evening is the oneness perspective. Um, if you all remember, the first of the month, um, I started out with this month um, mentioning that um, the, 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 the theme for this month is oneness. And I shared with you all the, the first episode for this month is what I've learned for um, this past year, just from staying home and, and taking the opportunity to go within even more because we, um, we, we were kind of in a special situation to, so doing a lot of inner work, clearing out and all those learnings because of this global social re-engineering experiment that we, we are all going through. And so, um, so this week I would actually like to circle back to look at why we are doing this, why we are going through this, and also give a more broader perspective, meaning that I want to give a, a perspective from, from oneness, because it seems like we're going through a rather intense time, and there's a lot of um, things going on. There seems to be a lot of suffering. Why do we, why does um, humanity as a as a whole, decide to go through this? What's the purpose behind this? So that's really uh, our focus for this evening. So this, this playground that um, we called Earth is being bombarded daily by, by intense energy. And that's why a lot of people are, um, um, whatever it is that they haven't, integrated or let go of in their own in their own background in their own psyche it's all all being pushed up because of all these intense energy and so the so all this is actually to to really push everybody on this playground to make a choice so we are being push to make a choice and actually we we are being pushed to make two choices the the first one as i um, can see the first choice is really to become self-aware i i know that we we think that we are all self-aware we we um we human beings are self-aware however um if you really look at it i think because we have been in the inverted matrix for such a long time that um, some of the, 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 the people are actually have gone backwards. They, they have a sense of awareness, but they don't have a sense of self-awareness. Self-awareness, the, the, the definition, at least my definition of self-awareness is you can actually, um, Think for yourself. Think for yourself. Whereas if you if you look outside at a lot of people, you it's like they they can't really think for themselves. They are simply they are being spoon fed, and they don't realize that they're being spoon fed because they have been spoon fed lots of different. Um, ideas that have actually shut their own self-awareness down so much that they cannot decipher what's real and or what is true and what is not true anymore. And so uh, all of these um, intensity is really to wake us up, to, to push us so that we can, we um, have to make a choice do we choose to really just listen to um, whatever it is that be, we are being spoon fed, whatever it is that society tell us is the way it is, or do we actually 
wake up and make a choice is I want to um, look at all the evidence for myself and then make a an, an informed choice for myself. So that's one thing that we are being pushed to do. And there's also another thing that we are being pushed to do is we are being pushed to decide whether we want to um, whether we want to stay positive and and go within our heart so that we can actually um, move into a a situation where we 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 want to serve people understanding that the the what we think of as people as as beings that are separate from us is actually a part of ourselves mm -hmm. so we serve ourselves by serving others so and the alternative the 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 other choice is that we serve ourselves and we just don't care what happened to other people we just make sure that we are doing okay and that's all we are we are going to do to make sure that you know as long as i'm doing okay i don't care what anyone else is um i would i would do whatever it is in my power to make sure that i am okay and so service to self or service to others. Um, in the, the final analysis, all, all service is to ourselves because when we understand that everybody is just a part of ourselves, then you can, you can also understand that when you serve others, you are also serving yourself as well because what you what you send out you also get back as well whereas with the the, um, the other choice the the alternative is well if everything everyone else is me why don't i just serve myself and you know just do whatever i need to do manipulate whomever it is i need to manipulate in order to make sure that I am okay because everyone is just me anyway. So who cares? So that's that. Those are the two major things that we are being pushed to to make a choice on. Which way do we want to go? Do we do we want to um, think for ourselves, and or do we don't? Do we just you know follow the crowd? So those those two big. Um, questions of those two big choices that we are being facilitated by all these intense energies to do. Um, and so why why is why are being why are we being pushed to make these choices? What is the what is the the bigger perspective of that? So in order to do that, I want to actually step back and and look at the um, the whole journey from the perspective of consciousness, which is really oneness, from the perspective of oneness. Um, and so, which means I want to actually talk about um, the different densities. Now, I know that there are, um, we also understand that dimensions as well, we have we are in 3D, which is third dimension, and we are moving into fifth dimension. And then there is also this concept of densities. We are in third density and we are moving to fourth density. So first thing I want to explain a little bit is the difference between densities and dimensions. So density is really refers to the degree in which consciousness can be expressed through matter or through a vessel. So our body is a vessel. Um, a rock is also a vessel. And from a certain point of view, a rock has consciousness. It is part of um, create a source. So it has also 
the the the, the consciousness of creator source in it as well. It is just that the 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 rock is in a very different or lower uh, uh, um, lower density than we are. So density is really referring to the degree in which consciousness or godness or oneness or, or the, 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 the creative God ability to be able to express through the vessel that the consciousness is going through. So that's what density is about. So what are dimensions? So dimension refers to how we perceive reality. For example, the first dimension, first dimension is really just a line. So we can't really, if you, we are very, um, like we are in third dimension now. We see things have a, a shape and we can see not just the width, the length, we also see the height as well. So we can, um, so that's the third dimension way of perceiving reality. Whereas from the first dimension, we, on, we can only see a, a line. We can only see from one point of view pretty much. So, so the, an example of um, that is a rock. Let's say a rock can only see from one, only observe reality from one point, it cannot move. Whereas two dimension, the, the second dimension is when there is movement. However, it's only movement in terms of, um, you can see, it's like a sheet of paper. It's two dimension you only see, you, you can't see a cube, you cannot see a ball, but you can see a circle. So, so because a circle is just on the same plane, a, you can draw a square on the same plane, but you cannot see that that circle is actually part of a, uh, a globe. You cannot see in, you cannot observe reality from the, the, the second dimension in its totality. So it's, you can still observe reality, but it's the amount of what you can uh, observe when you are in the second dimension is much less than what you can do. So the more you rise in dimension, the more you can observe reality. You understand reality differently. Um, so that's what's the difference between dimension and density. Now, having said that, even though we always refer to um, like third dimension, fifth dimension, however, I'm, I'm actually going to do the rest of this explanation through density, because um, density, there are seven densities and it kind of goes through, it's, it's like we have seven chakras, we have seven energy centers and that corresponds very um, neatly with the, the, the density. So it'll be more, it's easier for us to, in, for me anyways, to intuitively understand what the, the, the difference in density and also density kind of corresponds most, more closely with the rise in consciousness. Whereas, um, it's, it's like the densities are step by step by step, whereas in dimensions, um, there can be several, uh, there can be a range of dimensions that can be explored within a density. So it's not a one-to-one -one correspondence between dimensions and densities, even though they are similar, but they are still different. So, so let's begin by doing density. So first density. First density is <clears throat> imagine your source and you somehow got the idea that you want to 
start to know yourself. So you start to create things, but you have never created anything before. So you, when you create, you want to, the, the first attempt at creating is really just beingness. So first density is, it's really just the elements. <clears throat> so earth, so rocks, as in rocks could be crystal, but all just, just different um, combinations of, of the, the chemicals that mix, mix up the, 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 how the rock may look like. If it has um, like more iron in it, it will look redder. And if it has other elements, it will have a different color, but all is just rocks. It's just elements. It's not, not, not all rocks because there are four elements. There's, there's earth, which can be rock or, and it also can be wind as well. So, um, and then there's water and then there's fire. So those are the elementals. So first density is consciousness starting to take on different vessel. So water is a vessel for consciousness and fire is also a, um, a vessel for consciousness as well. And each of these different vessel for consciousness um, allow consciousness to start to explore and, and, and find itself and know itself through that. So that's first density. First density is really about beingness. You, you, you don't really move much except if you are if you're magma as in then yes you do move but not a, not a great distance and um so there are some movement but it's but the 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 main thing is really about beingness just beingness and awareness is there and then so billions of years pass so this the first um, density is one of the longer ones. So, so consciousness starts off at that. And then when consciousness decides, oh, okay, I, I'm, I've been enough observing consciousness like this, so let's move on, let's do something different. So the next is really about um, exploring through movement and and it's also about um, through a different kind of vessel. So when that's when I would say not really animals at first. It, at first, it would just be um, amoebas, very simple um, single cell organics will start to come about. They, they can move much more than a rock can move, but it's still very simple. And then more complex um, kind of vessels would come. There would be plants, trees, um, even though trees don't seem to move much, but they definitely, um, they do move if you, if you take pictures to take still pictures, a, a series of pictures of a plant, you would observe that they do move, they grow, they move by growing. They move by dropping off their seeds to somewhere else and being carried by the wind. So they interact with the first density um, beingness. So, so that's a different way of learning consciousness of so then um, then more complex animals um, all of those come and when animals kind of are um, when beings 
when the second density beings start to get to be um, ready to go into the next density, that's when um, when you look at animals, they they have awareness. They but they don't really think of themselves as being separate from their environment. It's like when you even if you observe something like a pet, your, your, your cat or your dog, they don't know that they are separate from the environment. They, they really, um, they're so much more in tune with their environment. That's why they know that you know, animals actually know when there's going to be any natural disaster coming because they are so in tune with their environment that if anything in, is, is, seems to be anything major, they, they get a sense of it. And if they don't want to have that ex experience of let's say an earthquake, then they would go somewhere else, they, they would move. And so the next, after, after the, um, the animals and those different um, beings, then the third density is really about consciousness. Now get to the point, which is we are in third density, or actually we are in the late stages of third density, moving into fourth density. So um, I think we are, definitely familiar with third density is, is that that's when we start to grow in a self-awareness. And um, when we start to grow a self-awareness, then we, we feel that separateness from our, our environment. We feel that separateness even from one another especially now in the late stages, we, we feel that separateness. And that's why you, um, there's so much differences between people and, and so many friction between people is because it, you just think you are really observing how one entity, one, one unit of, of um, human being, one, one, one body is being aware that they are different from another and they get to the point where they disagree so much and they, they are so um, stubborn on keeping their own point of view that they, they forgot how to um, come together as a, a unit. So it's, it's an interesting development. And that's why the, there is so much disagreement and violence in third density. We've been so seemingly barbaric and brutal to one another, especially when we don't see eye to eye with someone else. And that's part of the, um, the process that the um, entities or beings in the go through third density is that we learn how to we learn and grow our self awareness by noticing the difference by noticing the um, the friction. So it it's really growing through go, growing through friction. So I think it's really the, the major way that we, we grow within third density. That's, that's why third density is the, the shortest cycle. If you look at some of the, the first density, it's billions of years. Second density is um, millions, like I've, I forgot how many, maybe 50 million years, it goes through that. So, but third density is only about like 20, 20, 30 million, uh, 20, 30,000 years. It's because it's such a violent um, transition. It's, it's, it's a very, I would say, it's a tough, it's really 
not an easy density to get through. And because it's so destructive and the destructive element is built into how we, we learn self-awareness, that that's why this density is the shortest. Because if we, if we move through, if we use millions of years to move through this density, there'll be no one left. We will never survive that long. So that's why this third density is a short relative to the others is a much shorter um, cycle. And if you look at it now is that there seems to be so much um, friction and so much disagreement. All that is really the catalyst is really the way to push us to make that choice because um, like the two major things that that um, beings within third density has to get through, has to get, has to grok in order to graduate to the next density. One of them is, you know, um, self-awareness. We have to, to achieve that self-awareness. And the second, as I've already mentioned, is really to, to choose, do we want to um, serve others or do we want to serve ourselves only meaning do you want to go for the, the the heart or do we want to go without that heart connection and that's an option because um if there are there are negative people beyond the third density or i would say that the um there's a negative fourth density, and there's a positive fourth density. When I say positive, negative, I don't mean good or bad. Um, from the point of view of, of um, consciousness, consciousness does not care <clears throat> whether you, you serve only yourself or whether you serve others. Consciousness is about growing. It's not about being goody two shoes. And if you do anything bad, then you're gonna flunk. No, if you grow your consciousness, whichever way you want, you choose to grow your consciousness, it's fine. So from, from oneness point of view, somebody who acts like the most evil person in the world, they only serve themselves. From consciousness point of view, that is a, a viable or a valid way of being. Consciousness does not judge that. And that's why we are all being um, pushed to make a choice. How do we want to proceed into fourth density? Do we want to proceed to learn um, to go through the, the next one, the next density, through serving others, through um, love and understanding, or do we want to skip the hard part and only um, serve ourselves? And, and so, um, incidentally, you can graduate from I mean, graduate as in going from third density into fourth density, as long uh, to, to the positive uh, fourth density, as long as you are at least 51%. At, so you, as long as you are more than 50% positive, then you get to go in. Um, whereas if you want to to graduate into the negative fourth density, you have to be at least 95% negative. So you have to be really heartless, really don't care about anyone else. You have to do whatever it, it takes in order to um, serve yourself. It's because it's, it's so much harder to succeed um, if you are not 
single-mindedly there to serve yourself. The, the negative fourth density is much harder. So there, there are actually fewer people who move through from third density to fourth density in the negative polarity. So um, <laughs> I guess that's good news. That means that there's uh, at any time more positive people than negative people. And um, why? But why? Why do we even allow the, the, the negative people? It's actually because the, um, when we are in, even in fourth density, there is still duality. We're still exploring duality. If there is no one in distress, we cannot, uh, like the, the positive, the people who, who wants to go through fourth density, there is, if there is, um, no one is in distress, no one needs your help. How can you help? How can you serve others if no one is in need? So that's why um, the, 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 um, the negative polarity people in fourth density, they are actually still serving the positive polarity um, in fourth density, because without this, this um, the other side of the equation of polarity, the the positive, it would be harder for the the, the positive side to progress further as well. So then, when we, so we are actually. Um, moving from third density into fourth density, and we've actually moved into fourth density. If you look at the, the, the world it is even right now, is that we, we are more aware of, we um, more aware of, you know, um, that we need to love everyone, not just people who look like me or um, sound like me, but there is an awareness that we need to include regardless of which race or creed you are from, that you're still part of humanity. So those concepts already exist. It's not something new, it's already there. So we, are, we haven't quite integrated all of the, 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 the fourth density. Fourth density is about love and understanding. It's really about the um, service to others, how to be of service to other, how to help um, someone else to grow in their consciousness, to grow in their well-being. So that is how, that's the major part of what fourth density is about, is we, once we got through and um, start to get a self-awareness, we become separate. We start to go into this love, the fourth density the, the, of the positive polarity is about love. It's about knowing that even though um, someone else look separate from me, if, even though the environment is separate from me, but my well-being and the well-being of someone else are intrinsic and tied together. I cannot be happy if only I am happy um, when someone else suffer. I also feel their suffering. So it's it's about learning about oneness and seeing the oneness even while we keep our individuality. So it's really two at the same time. It's how to balance the individuality from, um, from being an individual as oneness, as well as oneness. So holding these two concepts at the same time. So that is the, 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 the learning that we get through 
fourth density. And fourth density in general, um, of course, is not saying in specific because Earth is still moving through that. So we are, in general, it takes about 30 million years to go through. Um, and also the beings that is in fourth density, when we are fully integrated into fourth density, our, our lifetimes become much, much longer. The, the, the average lifespan is about 90 years. Um, the average lifespan of, of human beings right now is about 100, 120 years is really pushing it. So that's only because we've really um, been through a very uh, a dumbed down version of the third density. We, we went through the, the master class of third density. So as we integrate more into the fourth density than um, next generation, the lifespan is gonna start to get to be much longer than what we are, what we know of right now. So the fourth density is about heart chakra. It's about love and understanding how to serve other people. And also in terms of, um, because density is really about how consciousness, how, how consciousness can um, it be expressed through the vessel. So it becomes, our body becomes actually less dense, even though in terms of density, the number numerically is higher, higher, but actually our body becomes, it's not light body yet, but we are closer to being a light body. We kind of, <clears throat> we still have a body, but it is more translucent and more pliable than the one that we have in, in third density. And then when we, as we go through fourth density, at some point, we will start to move into fifth density. So fourth density is about love, understanding and all that. And fifth density is really about wisdom. It's, it's remember, the um, usually I would I would sign off by saying love and light. So love is really what fourth density is about, and fifth density is about light. Light is wisdom, because um, so in terms of um, chakra is is really the fourth density is the heart chakra, and then the fifth density is the throat chakra. So in there in fourth density, we it's like, yeah, we it's it's a love fest. So we are so happy to um to to sacrifice ourselves in order to serve others. So it's it's kind of a martyrdom um complex is is the that complex. But when we get to fifth density, it's when wisdom start to kick in. And you start to, we start to understand that, well, you know, if you sacrifice yourself in order to save someone else, the thing is you can only sacrifice yourself once. Um, because once you died, then um, until you, until you, um, you know, reincarnate and come again with another body, that person that you're trying to help would have no, there's no no one else to help and guide them. So maybe, you know, sacrificing yourself is is not really the best way to help someone. Maybe you need to we need to actually think of ways to help someone without sacrificing ourselves because if we sacrifice ourselves then we are still not loving ourselves as well. We are not taking care of ourselves. So when we are going through fifth density, that's when the wisdom part starts to come about. 
and we start to be able to see more long term and really think through what's the best way to help someone so that we can help someone without sacrificing or um, depriving our loved ones of our company because then we can be helping someone else but we are inadvertently jeopardizing other people as well. So we learn to um, balance, really balance love and light. Really think of the most um, creative ways to help someone so that everyone is to, to not just think of the, the wellness of just one individual, but to actually think of the wellness of yourself, your own loved ones as well, and also the, 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 the community that would suffer because you sacrificed yourself to help someone else. So there is more balance, and then there you learn the lessons of how to... Um, feel your own worthiness to help yourself as well. So all of those are all uh, fifth density learnings. And, and when we get to the fifth density, that's when our, we get to more of a light body. And that's when our own mind, our consciousness become even more powerful. And we can actually um, start to manifest things so much easier. We can actually move mountains, not with, with tools, not with our hands, with our, not with our bodies, but we start to develop the mental power to be able to change lower density form just by our thinking. It's because we get to that being that vessel for consciousness, the consciousness can actually be embodied through us in so much more powerful ways. So that's all the things that we can look forward to in, in fifth density. Now, I didn't really know too much about, um, I don't know too much about what the, the, negative polarity fifth density is is about um but i do know that at some point through the the the, the rise the going through in evolution at some point which usually is towards the end of fifth density and moving into sixth density that's when um the, the negative polarity cannot move any further because the, the next density, sixth density is about balance. And the, 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 the thing about the negative polarity is they are, they are very unbalanced because they have to be so self-service in such a way that it imbalances their their consciousness. It they cannot be fully balanced. They cannot move beyond um, early sixth density. So when so the sixth density is when both the polarity of positive and negative have to come back together again. And the, the, even the, um, the, the negative polarity has to get to the point where they understand if they want to grow in consciousness, they have to abandon the service to self root. They have to let go and start to come back into um, that, that balance. So they would have to go through a long period of time to move through their... Um, to, to get back to being in the heart structure as well before they can move beyond early sixth density. Because sixth density is, there's no polarity. There's no positive or negative. There is, and also that's when there's, um, 
we start to come merge back together. So that's when you think of, um, let's say, for example, um, Franco mentioned that he's working with, I forgot the last count, I think it's 80 or, or 90 different entities has input into him. So when you get to sixth density, you actually um, more at the, the, the planetary level of consciousness, meaning that you, it's a social complex. It's no longer a, um, a unique consciousness. So when you get to sixth density, that's when we come back, we start to come back into oneness. That's when our consciousness start to merge back together. And, um, but we merge back together. Um, we still know that there is, each everyone is a unique point of view. However, even though we, we have our own unique point of view, we also can understand and agree with all the other different points of view because we get to the point where we are balanced. We're so balanced that we have no trouble um, holding different points of view and be able to still be in harmony. So that's sixth density and that's, so it's about group soul. We have group souls. Um, sometimes the whole planet would be one group soul and then we merge back into whole um, solar system having one complex. So all of this is sixth density. Learning is starting to come back together to be able to harmonize and be balanced, so balanced that we um, can agree with one another and still have our own point of view. So, and then seventh density is really, we get back to the, the, the God consciousness, the oneness. And that's when we actually seven density is also called the gateway density because then in this in this universe we have seven densities that we can go through but there are different universes this is not the only universe in in terms of creation there are universes that are um like out there and each of them has their own seven densities to go through. So when we get through the seven density, then we actually get to explore other universes as well. So there is no end to growing our consciousness. And so I just want, want to actually get back to now that I have kind of um, given a, a big picture perspective on growing our consciousness and we are just in the, the the process of leaving third density and moving into fourth density we've started fourth density already but we just have not fully integrated it yet um, so we're leaving third density. That's why we're seeing the, the, the wrap up of so many chaotic and um, aggressive, divisive um, scenarios going on. Every, it's, it's like no, no one is this kind of um, knows how to harmonize one another. We, we all uh, are in this flux state of um, I would say that the, the 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 underlying is there is this aggressiveness there is this unsettling idea it's not because um, 
It's not because there's anything wrong. It's just that this is what the energy is doing to us, is helping us to uncover anything that is holding us back to, to stay in third density. That is actually all the, the insecurities is coming up so that we can see it, we can notice it in ourselves and start to um, notice what it is that we need to work on to let go of in, if that's what we want to do, if that's what we are, um, our soul wants to do, it's to move on to the next density, then those are the work that we need to do. And um, it's, it's not, there's nothing wrong. This is just the process of it. And we are just going through this process and to put it all in perspective. And that if you really feel um, this chaotic feelings within yourself, then, then just take a deep breath. The best way is to really take a deep breath and start to, um, to really ask yourself, are you ready to make a choice? There is no wrong choice. I, I just want to make sure that I say that there's no wrong choice. It is, it is your unique choice. All you are being asked to do is to make a choice. There's no such thing as a wrong choice. If you choose to not, if you don't think you're ready to move on to the next density and you choose to say, it's absolutely perfect. And if you think that, okay, I'm ready, and, but I want to you know, go to the negative polarity because I like to do things the hard way, then that's also perfectly okay. Whereas if you think, oh, okay, I really want to experience um, love and like being love, being, being um, serving others and also being served by others as well. I want that experience. That's perfect as well. So all we are being asked now is really to, to dig deep inside and, and to get connect with who we truly are and make that choice. And once, once we've made that choice and really become congruent with that choice, then it's actually you, you will start to feel the, the, I would say the weight dropping off as well. So that's, that's what I experience. Um, it, this, does it mean that, you know, I don't get, um, I don't get angry or I don't get depressed sometimes? No, not at all. I, but when I, when I get to, when I know that I'm unbalanced, I know how to balance myself. I know what I need to do. I need to, you know, do some processing and really letting go. And when I, when I do that kind of meditation, when I start to go within and, you know, really, start to to focus on what my consciousness want me to go to next it gives me an understanding um, and a compassion for people who um who don't know who for whatever reason they don't want to make a choice yet, they're not ready to make a choice yet, or they make a choice that's different from mine. It's really compassion, that compassion that everyone is here to, on their own journey, does not, is not, there's no such thing as a right journey. My way is not the only way. It's, it's not the right way. It's my way. That's all. So when you when I can really tune into that and, and start to um, be in my heart and be okay with going um, and making my choice and allow other people to make their choice and not try to impose 
my choice on their choice, then um, there is this there's this weight dropping off. I don't have to control anyone. I don't have to, um, I don't have to feel that. I don't have to be responsible for them. I just need to be responsible for me and also know that, have compassion that they are going through all of this as well and that it's not easy um this is we are the from the third density to the fourth density it's it's not an easy transition at all and it's not supposed to be easy it's <laughs> it is but that's how consciousness grow to the next level and um, as I would say, as full of angst as this period may be, but I do know that when we have moved through, when we are more integrated into the next density, that is actually going to be so beautiful when people really start to get on board and, um, and, start to go to the, the, the self-serving other people or um, going into exploring, understanding and what, the, um, what this fourth density is all about. It's going to be um, much more harmonious once we leave that this third density. So um, that's all I have to say about this oneness perspective. So let me just, uh, oh, okay.